Hello everyone, it's Rachel here at Clarty Hands Crafts. Welcome to another Craft With Me video. Today I am making pockets using circle shaped pieces of paper or card. And to make my circle shape I'm going to draw around this fancy stencil that I've got. And it is just my child's plate from when he was a baby. I'm going to centralise that as best I can on an 8 by 8 piece of paper, but you can make these in, in any size that you like. As long as you start them with a circle shape, it'll work. So just draw around that lightly, and then I can cut that out with my scissors. So I found this idea on somebody else's channel, and I'm sorry I forgot to check before I sat down here to craft today. So I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I will link it in the description below if you want to have a look at that tutorial. And she had about three different pocket ideas on there and they're all good, so it's definitely worth checking out. Right, this is quite a thick card. Not very thick, but you know, it's like one, 180 or something like that. And I'm just going to try and erase the pencil markings if, if there are any left. Just give that a quick rub around because we don't want it looking um, bad. <laughs> I don't know, it's, you know. Okay, so I'm going to turn this to the reverse side, but you can do whichever side you like. And what you need to do is fold the outside edges in towards the center. And it's up to you, you can either make them meet in the middle or you can just fold them out kind of partially. So I'm just gonna do mine partially to about, I don't know. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. And then I might be able to give you a better idea. But the thing that you need to do is try and make sure that the width of this and the width of this is the same. I'm going to give that a good press down. I've committed to the fold now, so hopefully this will work. And I can see that this is wider than this. So what I'll do is leave the wider one at the top. And because this is non-directional, directional even, um, it doesn't matter too much. Then we're going to fold the bottom upwards. And this is just a matter of preference of how high you put it. So I'm going to fold that up. And then you can see that we've got our first pocket created behind there. This edge needs squeezing completely down. Especially when you're using thicker card like this. And then I'm going to open it out. And then cut this line here and this line here. And you'll see why in a moment. So I'm trying to keep this as straight as possible following that fold line and the same again if I can see it on that side there and then we'll be able to fold that in there that in there that folds up and then we fold these little flaps that we've created back inwards towards the center And then they'll be glued into place to make a slot here where you can put something wider so you could that will hold a photo or you can put something in each side like a little tag in that side and a tag in that side or something like that the further you fold the outside flap inwards the closer these sections will be so your pocket could be more secure if you wanted to fold everything in towards the center line and then all we need to do is ink it, decorate it, and put glue everything down into place. 
So I will ink everything first. Okay, so first I'm going to glue this along this crease. Well, not exactly on the crease, but just a little bit inwards from that crease and this side as well. Then fold that up and squash it down into position. Just going to hold that for a couple of seconds till it gets a grip. And then these flaps can be glued along that bottom line. And fold them back over into position. Like that. Now somehow I managed to make this quite even so that this gap isn't too far where it looks strange. But you know, it doesn't even matter if it is completely wonky. It'll just add to the charm of your pocket. Okay, so I think that's going to be everything in place. And then I'm just gonna make sure that I've got ink on the edges as well. Just to tie it all together so nothing looks too bright and sparkly new and then you can decorate it however you like so I know that I want to have this big photograph in the back and I wasn't quite sure what to put in that front pocket I think that might be a bit too too much As it detracts from the lady there, doesn't it? All right, let's have a think. I thought maybe I could put a butterfly on the edge. And I have these stickers which I could cut down to size. about just a little tag and a little tag there right I'm just going to take that out for the moment because the reflection is probably quite annoying when you're watching I'll just zoom you in a bit I think we'll add the birds to this tag. Just get those little edges off. And then that just makes that tag a little bit more interesting. And how about we do the same with this one and just add some sort of greenery. I don't know how these are gonna look really with the white background. It might look a little bit random. Yeah, that's not great, but it just makes it a little bit more, more of a thing. <laughs> so let's just give that a light dusting of ink. I'll do that on both sides as well.
And then I'll just add a bit of twine. I think I'm just gonna try and dull those white stark edges of the sticker down as well on this one. I don't really know what I was expecting that one to look like, but that'll do for the time being. Let's just see if I can get a string through because it's a tiny little tag with a tiny hole. Yeah, so me and my son had a nice day out today, which was unexpected. Um, I went round to my mum's house and my sister was there and she wasn't staying very long because she was going out to meet her friends and she invited us along. So we decided to go and they went and met in a park, Saltwell Park at Gateshead and it turned into a beautiful sunny day. There were, I took my little boy and she took her little girl and then all of her friends had their kids as well. So all of the children got to play in the sun, lots of play areas in that park, and we just had a really nice day. It was nice to have a bit of a, a social rise with the ladies, and um, as I say, it wasn't planned, so it was nice to be taken along on the adventure. Okay, I feel like, oh, how about we put the butterfly there? Is that a good thing? I think now I wish I hadn't put the birds there because it's making it a bit too much. What do you think? <laughs> I think it was especially nice to go out because um, this past week me and my son have been ill and it's been a bit of a lonely one, like um, we've both been stuck in the house. So I think we were ready to get out and about <laughs> and see people and do different things. So it was exactly what was needed. Okay, so I've just like, kind of bridged that gap with the butterfly. I'm never very good at decorating things while I'm filming for some reason. I think I overthink things. Okay. Shall we just call that one done for now? Move on to another one. Okay, do. Put it down. Step away. Right. I'll just clear my space before I start again. Okay, so I've got one that I'd already cut here. So let me just show you that we can use an image or a journal card as a template for where we place the creases so if you just hold it in place and then we're going to just line up with this line and that will just tell us how and where to fold be careful if that's a thin picture like mine is not to fold it um, so that the edges of that come out and then that will just slip out. Oops, I'm just going to try and coax that over a little bit and do the same on the other side because I think I have gone slightly skew with. Right. What I might do is just turn that around so that the, the wider end is at the top. And then I want the bird to poke out about there. So then I can fold that bottom one, keep it central and then what I'm going to need to do is mount that, I think, so that it can be poking out of the top and visible. 
So let's see what happens anyway when we cut these flaps. And fold them round. So this one is to go in my blue and pink journal that I've been working on. Just fold those back on themselves. I'll go in there. And then what else did I have? A little journal card to go in there. So first of all, I'll ink this up. Just to create a bit of contrast with the edges and the folds. Okay, so we can get that glued down now. bottom edges as well. Okay, so we want to make a piece which will fit snugly. I'm just going to pop a little nick there and then a little nick There. So if you've got the Edith Holden book, please tell me what you've been using it for. Because I know that hundreds of us have it. But I just wonder what everyone else uses it. How everyone else uses it. So I've left that with a long piece, uh, more width at the bottom. So that it's kind of like a Polaroid shape. And then that can go and sit in there. And then I'll have it. I need to still pop it up a little bit, but anyway, then she can poke out the top. Then I've got this little journal card which came from a kit that I purchased from Etsy. printed and the kit had all sorts of bits of lace and things like that in and then I just want that to sit in that bottom pocket and then that will tell us where we want our extra decoration to be so I've got this jute uh, trim which I'm going to lay along the bottom I did consider putting it around the archway but that would take too much um, stretching out and I'm not convinced it would hold in the right place. Sorry, I've got an itch. So let me just pop some glue down that bottom edge. Snip a piece and then hold this down while it dries. And I've done that with excess at either end 
because I know that this stuff can be quite bouncy and difficult to manage. So if I get it glued first and then it won't unravel until it won't unravel um, when I trim it. Right, and then I just want a little bit more decoration. I was thinking about this bird, but that's quite large, isn't it? And is it too much bird action to have them both there? How about a bit of foliage? I'm not doing very well with these, this size of pocket. Not with those uh, stickers anyway. Maybe we'll just keep it like that because the journal cards are quite decorative. So I'm just going to leave that one. A simple one. Okay. And then next I have this blue one. I've missed all of the pencil there. Right, so this one I'm going to do. I should have done it further in, shouldn't I? Which one's in the centre? Maybe that one. Oh, it's too late now, otherwise I'm going to have a big crease. So let's just try and do it by eye. Keep them evenish. I'm going to fold that one quite high up. those back off. Right. Can we finally get one of those on? I don't think so. Maybe we can actually. What I'm going to do is just trim that so that it fits around the arch. And then I'll fold the tail around actually because I can't bring myself to cut his tail off. It's wrapped around to the back there and then I know his tail still exists and I don't feel too bad about it. 
And then I'm just going to pop a couple of little flowers in that one. And pop one on there. One on there, overlapping. And then I want to have my big round tag in the back and this little photograph of a gentleman in uniform at the front. Let's just put another one of my stickers on. But Rachel, why are you so obsessed with the stickers? I don't know. I'm just enjoying them. Just dull that edge down and put it to one side is a bit of decoration. And just go in there, ready to pop out. There we go. Okay, so let me just show you the ones that we've done today. That's it. All right, so I just thought that was something a bit different. I'd never seen it done before. So I thought I would share it with you. I hope you liked today's tutorial and I shall see, well, craft with me sorry <laughs> and I shall see you again next time for another video goodbye